hello, hello, what's going on? So a lot has changed with Hearthstone Deck Tracker, and there's a lot of people that use it, obviously, because there's millions of millions of games, statistics tracked and everything like this. Down in the description below, you should see a link um, that will show you where to install it from. Once you install that, you can then go ahead and link it to your Battle.net account, which is completely 100% safe, and it gives you a lot of nice features. So, we'll start off by showing you this. It says, find the best decks for your collection, last updated 14 hours ago. So the last time that I was, that I synced my Hearthstone collection was 14 hours ago. Um, and I have it set to automatically synchronize. And we're going to go through this. this is, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff on here. So I will try to make this as short and brief as possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this screen open here. So you can see HS Replay. Listen, as you can see, I've got lots and lots and lots of decks here. So you can click the search button. All right, and I sort things by date. Oops, 18, 9, 18. And I can hit enter. Okay, and then that will go through and it will go through all of the deck lists that I currently have that start with 918 or that have 918 in it. All right, so the search feature is really nice once you've got a deck saved, everything like that. I've got tons of them, so you don't maybe not want to go through all of them. So I say, okay, well, only the ones for this month, and there they are. So that's simple enough, right? You can sort between standard, wild, um, tavern brawl decks, arena decks, um, whatever it is that you want to choose. You can sort by class. Right now I have it on all, so I could just go ahead and just select warrior. I can also hold control down and select warrior and shaman. Okay, so if you just select one, it will just do that. If you hold the control button down, you can select multiple games or multiple decks that you would like to see. Um... And then this little icon, this Hearthstone icon next to it, means that when you have that highlighted, means that it shows basically the global statistics on HS Replay reflect that a 58% win rate is the average of everything that it is playing with this deck that uses Hearthstone Deck Tracker. So you can go ahead and click this and it will open that page up. We've already got it opened over here. So it shows 58% win rate right here. It shows 63% against Druid, 72% Pally, and so on. You write here the games that have, in the last seven days, 7.8 million games have been recorded. Find out what deck you should be playing now, maybe. I'm going to click sign in, okay? And it just says, um, now, the way I'm doing this is I have a Blizzard Battle.net login saved okay on one of my pages that you cannot see all right so i'm logged in with my blizzard account already so by doing that when i click this okay it automatically logs me in and you see okay that it says zox 1189 asia i can choose to i also this is my other account leverage okay so it knows what all of these accounts have Okay, so whatever server it is I'm playing on, it knows what my deck lists are. We, the best deck in China, rank 1, Death Rattle Hunter, with a 59.6% win rate, updated 25 minutes ago. So you can go through and see exactly what's going on. Alright, you've got Standard, you've got Wild, you've got Arena. Uh, basically, you're just going to click Meta here. Alright, and it will repopulate. Now, everything that will be in yellow is something that will benefit you should you have premium, okay? So in America's rank one, Control Warlock is doing really well, okay? It looks like a lot of people are using Control Warlock now. 60.4% win rate, all right? And that was 44 minutes ago. All right, so if we click meta, this is yellow, this is yellow, all right? So you will always see like the last seven days, okay? Last seven days. And you will not be able to choose your region. It will just show a blank slate like this. Should you choose to go ahead and be a premium member as I am, 
you will receive additional benefits. Those benefits, in my opinion, are well worth it for what you pay. Um, and by referring other people to this and them using your code, you can discount your price monthly and they can too. So this is a ripple effect which causes savings for everyone. I believe it's worth it because I enjoy playing the game and I don't want to go through and look up all this stuff myself and find the statistics and data. It's all here, one place. And no, I am not sponsored by HS Replay. However, if somebody is a HS Replay representative and would like to sponsor me, I am a streamer and a YouTuber. As you know, you can find those links in, in my description below as well. But you can contact me. Whatever rank it is you are, if you are a legend player, okay, and you are playing on EU, then you choose legend, EU, and this is the last seven days, all right, by tier list, all right? You can go to the last three days. So for the last seven days, even shaman and mid-range hunter seem to be tier one, okay? We're only going to go to tier ones right now, all right? And it looks like last seven days even shaman mid-range even shaman mid-range still the same in the last day all of a sudden a big spell mage is now tier one and taunt druid okay so in the last day you can see 53 so let's we'll round this to 54 and round this to 53 so we can say one percent difference there and if you look at this here last day taunt druid at 56 basically these are pretty close as well so, and if you mouse over, you can see, okay, this is what they're playing. You want to see the most popular deck? You just click this button here. You click this deck. All right. And Taunt Druid. Okay. If you want to do this Taunt Druid, right now it says with my collection in Americas. All right. My collection in Americas. You see here, 800 dust is what I require to craft this deck. Now... We click this button here, copy to Hearthstone, deck is copied, all right, import from deck code, sorry, I don't have Hearthstone open, okay, so I'm going to click save only, not crate and Hearthstone, so those are your choices, so it found the deck now, all right, and I click save only, and there it is, all right, it shows the card database, and it says Taunt Druid, okay, so, I name all my decks like this. So, we go 918, Taunt Druid, all right, and we click Save. So, now we have 918 Taunt Druid has been saved, and there is the list. Okay, should we choose to rename it? We just right-click it, you know, you can screenshot it or whatever, take a picture to put on your on your page, whatever you'd like. This is where it gets a little bit more helpful. So this is the overview of this deck right now. So basically overall win rate, it shows what percentages you are. So Warlock, if we go to matchups, okay? If we go to matchups now, Control Warlock, all right? So Zoo Warlock and Control Warlock your chances are not very good so you can see what you're faced up against all right as far as do i want to play this deck or not once we find a deck let's say odd rogue all right and we'll just choose best performing deck now we're down to the mulligan guide so if you are a premium member you will be able to choose your class so is so you can have this up on the other screen as soon as you find a opponent and let's say you're playing this odd road deck and all of a sudden you queue up against a warrior you just click warrior kept rate percentage of times the cards was the card was kept during the mulligan all right and this will tell you okay so diamole all of these cards right here are 80 percent or higher keep so these are the cards that you're going to want against a druid all right should you be faced against a priest those cards change based on the cards that that class can play if you have any other questions 
I just wanted to do a quick kind of cliff notes version. Any other questions, comments, leave them below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And until next time, thanks for watching. And Docs.